Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about how you can automate parts of your blog with AI, but specifically with N8N and the new WordPress MCP. So if you've never heard of some of those things, don't worry, I'll explain everything. But basically in N8N we can create these workflows. So there can be a trigger, maybe somebody submitted a form, and based on that we can run some logic. So I can have an AI agent here, maybe for example, an Excel file with post titles was submitted, right? So then those titles can go to my AI agent and my AI agent can create the content for the post based on those titles. And it can then actually update my WordPress website without me having to log into the WordPress dashboard. It can all be done autonomously by this AI agent here. And right, so just to show you this, um, right, the way it works with AI is you give it a prompt. So if I give it a prompt, like please list titles of all my posts, I can execute this tab and you can see that this AI agent is going to go to my WordPress website and now it's giving me the titles of my, so you can see the titles of all your published posts are, well, exploring the beauty of nature and the hello world one. If I go to my WordPress dashboard, you can see that is actually correct. So it was able to retrieve the posts without me having to log into the dashboard, right? So this setup opens up new workflows and may actually improve your own workflows that have to do with WordPress, whether it's maintenance or creating new posts. And the reason that works is because of the new WordPress MCP standard, the new WordPress MCP option you have, and we'll talk about it in a second. Basically, it uses your own WordPress instance and it exposes tools. So I have connected my WordPress MCP to that agent. And because of that, the agent can do, for example, a search on my posts. It can also get a particular post. It can actually add a post or update one. So you could maybe even say something like, please update my post to link to the proper pages, right? So you can add links or other things. And the nice thing is, that yes of course we can already do that but we have to log into our dashboard ourselves we have to find the relevant controls and now we can do it in a more automated way actually in a more autonomous way as well because what we can do with the agent node here i can just say something like change the intro of post one let's say let's actually take a look it has done some right and now of course we could specify the exact intro that we want perhaps but the point is we can be very hands-off and we can just say in natural language what we want to do and the agent will do it on our behalf. Okay, so in this particular instance, by the way, it did ask me to provide the new intro content I would want for that post, right? So I could still uh, attach it here or wherever you're getting that data from, right? So I'm just hard coding a prompt in here, but maybe you have an Excel file with information. Maybe you have a form that's being submitted. Maybe you have some data source that's going into the AI agent and the AI agent can then do things on the WordPress instance without us having to go into the dashboard. What we had to do before, if you were already using N810, well, what you could do is you could already use these actions from WordPress, right? So N810 already has these WordPress options. So we already have these actions, create a post, get a post. But this is more, we, we have to pick the actions ourselves, basically. So it becomes a more deterministic flow where the agent will always use that particular action. Whereas with our setup here, where the tools are being supplied by the MCP here, it's just a collection of tools, right? So this was like, I don't know, 30 tools maybe. And then the agent will decide by itself autonomously which tools to invoke. So maybe the create tool or getting a post, which allows for more sophisticated workflows, but also it's easier for us because we don't have to specify the exact uh, action it should take, right? We only have to specify the tools that are available. And then we can connect a an AI model, right? So ultimately the AI agent needs to be done under the hood with an AI model. We just specify a prompt and we say, these tools are available, good luck, right? So it's much easier to set up and also allows for more sophisticated workflows, okay? So let's actually talk about how we can set this up. Don't worry if you don't know much about NSN or MCP, right? So if I say something like, uh, please create new post, just come up with some random title or end content. Right, so I'm just gonna say something like this. I'm not specifying which tools it should use or anything else. It's very hands-off. I'm just gonna say, go ahead and do that and let's see what it comes up with. All right, so we see a new post has been created. And if I uh, go here to posts, come up with some interesting title about football and some interesting content. Right, so really hands-off. Let's see what it can do with this. So it's gonna 
uh, generate a post and add it to our WordPress website. Let's see if it's able to do that. All right, so actually it has created a new post and let's actually double check that. So I will go to my post here. If I refresh here, you can see we now have a new post. I did not log into the dashboard to create this. This was all done by my AI agent. All right, so of course I'm just specifying here. You could have an Excel file with titles. Maybe you're bringing it in from your email or maybe you wanna do other things except creating posts. There are other options we have, but basically uh, we can be very hands off and the AI agent can do things on our behalf without us having to sort of program it in many ways, right? So we do not have to specify which exact actions it has to take. It can decide by itself which tool to invoke. So I think that's pretty exciting. And so let's actually talk about how we can connect this agent here in NHN with the WordPress MCP, right? So we have this agent node. So an AI agent, right? So people talk about agents. It's basically more autonomous. And the way I think about it is because we do not have to program much ourselves. We just have to make things available and it will decide things by itself. And then we have the WordPress MCP so this will contribute uh, the tools, right? So in this case, the agent needs to invoke certain tools and they need to come from somewhere. So we're going to use WordPress MCP, basically opening up our WordPress website for that agent. All right, now to show you that, I will need a WordPress website and I'm going to use Cloudways to spin up a WordPress instance here. They are also today's sponsor. I had a great time using them, actually really powerful platform. It's actually a digital ocean company. And let me actually just show you how to set it up and get started. By the way, in the description below, you can find a link with my promo code. So check that out if you also wanna follow along or if you wanna try out uh, Cloudways. All right, so here in the dashboard, we can set up a WordPress instance. You can see I already have a server running here, but if it's your first time, you're not gonna see any servers. Let's actually add a server here and we can run applications on the server. Could even be multiple applications, but let's just start with one. I'm just gonna go with a standard default WordPress instance here. I will call it AI example. Okay, I will go with the hybrid stack. Now Cloudways is actually a digital ocean company, but they do allow you to pick servers from these other providers as well. So in case you do prefer that, go ahead. I will just go with the default settings here, but if you already anticipate that it's gonna be a heavier workload, maybe you wanna go for a more advanced setup here. All right, so then if you click the launch now button, it will spin up a server and we just have to wait a couple of minutes. All right, and after a couple minutes, our server is ready to go. So here we have all the settings for the server itself but on a server you have applications so if we go to my applications here we also have a new application here and here we have for that particular wordpress application the setting you can get advanced with the settings here but for now we will just go to the admin panel here so they generate a username and password for us let's go to the admin panel and here we need to log in so we have the credentials here i'm just going to copy this and paste this right here and this one as well all right, let's log in. All right, so now we're in the dashboard. And if we go here, you can see we only have one post here, the hello world post. Okay, so what I would like to do now is I would like to create a workflow here in NSN and I wanna use the agent node, AI agent, and I want it to be able to do things on my WordPress instance on my behalf so that I don't have to log into the dashboard and also that I don't have to really program anything. Uh, let's actually start off here. Now I'm just gonna trigger it right here from the dashboard, but you can have a trigger, it could be a form, could be something else. So actually I just cleared out the entire canvas here. So we will just trigger it manually here, but you can also run them on a schedule, right? So if you wanna do something every uh, day or every week, maybe you wanna check if the posts are actually, if they actually have links or something else about their content, perhaps you can do that here as well. You can also create a form. Maybe you have an assistant that can, ha that can upload uh, topic ideas and then it will automatically go ahead and generate those topics. So there's lots of things we can do here. Let's just go ahead and just to try it out, we can use the trigger manually option here. And then we're gonna have the AI agent node right here. So here we have the AI agent option. All right, so then you will see a couple of things here. So it will need some kind of prompt, right? So it needs to know what to do. Now you can uh, connect a chat here, but for just to try it out, you can also just uh, sort of hard code it here. And here we can then say something like, please create a post, okay? But before we get there, I'm gonna close out of here. Um, it actually automatically added this chat message received. So let me actually delete that. So you can see it is mandatory to specify a chat model here, right? So it needs to be driven by an actual AI model. So I will just go with OpenAI here and they actually give some free credits as of recording. So that's really nice. You can pick the model. So these models are gonna be a little bit older and smaller. So they may not perform as well as some of the more newer ones. I got okay results with this one. So that's, uh, I will just go with this. All right, so then it needs to know when it receives a prompt, 
right? So we're gonna submit a prompt. Then it needs to know what it is able to do. So now we're gonna give it some tool, okay? And that's what we're gonna do with MCP. So we're going to sort of expose the functionalities of our WordPress instance to that agent. And we can do that with MCP. And don't worry if you're confused by that. So I did recently create a whole separate video on that MCP. So if you wanna have a complete introduction and setup guide, go ahead and check out that video. I will go through it pretty quickly here. So we just have to go to the releases tab here. And then there is this zip file that we're going to download. I will go here to my uh, plugins and we're going to add a plugin. Actually, we're gonna upload it. So we just have to add that zip file right there. I'm gonna click on install now. All right, so it's unpacking, installing, and now it's successfully installed. We're gonna activate it. All right, so now it's activated. Now if I scroll down, you will see here something for MCP. Okay, if we click on settings. Okay, so here we can enable the MCP functionality. So this will expose essentially some functionalities to the outside world. So in particular, we wanna allow create and update. I will leave off the lead for now. And if you wanna see the tools that are available, you have a list right here. Okay, so a bunch of tools. These are all the things that the agent can do. So now we can add it here. So if we have to click on the plus here for tool, I'm gonna search for MCP and here's the MCP client tool. All right, so I found that the endpoint here, I could make it work by using the uh, URL of your of your website. So this is the Cloudways URL in this case. And then I added WP JSON slash forward slash WP version two, WordPress MCP, and then forward slash streamable. So server transport, they do mention it's deprecated. So let's go with HTTP streamable. Now, of course, not everyone can just start making these requests to our WordPress server and do things like add a post. When the agent is going to do that, it will need to authenticate itself with the WordPress server. So here we can add authentication, we'll add a bearer auth. And I actually already set one up, but let's actually delete this one so I can show you that as well. So here I have bearer auth. Now I need to select a credential. We're we're gonna create a new one. I need to add a bearer token. If we go to the MCP plugin here, there's also authentication token. So we can give somebody access essentially. I will just do it for one day and I will generate a new token. I will copy that. That is what I'm gonna paste right here. Okay, I'm gonna save here. Okay, so now we have added that, all right? So now the MCP client should be, so now if we go back to our agent here and we say something like, please create a new WordPress post, make up any title and content. Okay, let's actually uh, try it out. I can click on execute step right here and let's give it a few seconds. Let's see what it does. And yeah, actually it's working. So if you click on output, you'll see the result from the LLM. It says I have created a new WordPress post. Let's actually double check that. We can go to our post right here. And indeed we see that we have a new post here. So that's pretty cool. I didn't even have to log into my dashboard or anything. And you can also see the logs here. So if you do want to see the more complete flow here, it sent an input to the OpenAI chat model um, and then it used the MCP client and then it got a result back from the chat model here as well. I think it's pretty cool uh, combining the AI agent option here with the MCP client yeah, I think it opens up some new potential here for certain workflows. So maybe it can enhance your already existing workflow. Maybe it can do things that you thought were quite tedious before and now you can sort of automate it. And again, the benefit in my view is mostly that you do not have to pick exactly which actions it should take, right? Because technically before we could also try to automate it ourselves, but it's quite um, tedious and a hassle to implement all of that. With the MCP option here, we just expose a bunch of, of those actions to the agent and the agent is going to pick uh, the actions to take based on our prompt. Okay, now the input for that agent and the prompt and things like that, we can configure that. So if you do have a different data source or if you do wanna have uh, some kind of chat UI, you can try to set up something like that. So if you wanna try it out, make sure to try Cloudways. You can find a link in the description. I had a great time using them, very powerful platform. They have. Cloudways Autonomous now with fully managed WordPress hosting uh, with auto scaling. Thanks to Cloudways for sponsoring the video and thank you for watching. Good luck with your workflows and have a nice day.